Hey y'all, okay. I spent my entire life growing up in the low country of South Carolina, packing and avoiding and running away from hurricanes. Yes, I did. Today, right now, I'm doing just the opposite. I am going on a sourcing trip through a hurricane. There's Nick. And we are actually driving to Jacksonville, Florida, through Hurricane Nicole, to go sourcing at an amazing consignment shop that's there. We planned this months and months ago. We got our hotels. We planned the long weekend. We were going to make it a fun vacation plus work trip. And so, yeah, at this moment, we are driving through rain. It's actually kind of calm right now. Um, we did hit some rough spots earlier and we'll hit more bands. It'll get a little worse, I'm sure, um, as we continue down 95 through the crazy. I'm going to give you a little look at, oh look, that's where I grew up, Hilton Head. Get ready to pass my, my home where I used to leave these hurricanes as we drive to the hurricane. We'll see you soon. Here's a sped up clip of us driving down I-95 and some of the heavier bands of rain as we pull into Jackson. All right, y'all, we are all checked into our hotel on the riverfront. The tide is high, my friends. You could just see the Jacksonville Jaguars Stadium. I'm zipping it around on the river. I'm going to zoom in and show you how rough and high the waters are. And this is after it's passed through. So the tides are up to the top of the seawall. And then I'm going to pan around. And under the second bridge, there's actually a train track that you can see the water is literally right at the rails. So a little bit windy. Fueling up with a hearty breakfast and a big cup of coffee to start our morning off. All right, y'all. So we came here to go to our favorite consignment store, but um, I did some research and did find this thrift store. So while we wait for Fifi's to open, we thought we'd come check this place out because it got a lot of good ratings on um, the search where I searched on Google. So we're gonna go check it out, see what kind of mega thrift store this is, see what we can find. I'll do my best at filming for you. Okay. It's large. They have carts. Parts make me happy. Carts make me happy. I'm hitting the shoes. We have a little bit of a game plan here. Yes. So blue and white tags are seventy five percent off. Yellow is fifty. That might have been another fifty. Yeah. Hold on. Blue and white seventy five. Watch, watch the screen. Okay, so we got sales going on, which we love to hear. Insert a zippy clip. So our plan today is I sent Nick since we're in Florida to go look at Hawaiian shirts, and um, I'm doing bags and shoes. So that's our plan to start off in this place. Um, yeah, so we are looking. We've divided and we are dividing and conquering, we hope. And here's another zippy clip. Always look for the real different twisted boots. Hmm, I'm gonna look them up. I don't know them, but they are priced high. But I'm gonna put them in and give them a look. Let's see what it says. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to cut off right now and um, really focus on what I'm doing so that I can buzz through here. And then I will catch back up with you and show you what I put in my cart and what I'm deciding to take. All right, for now, I'm going to say goodbye. All right, y'all, we're done at the thrift store. There's Nick. He's going to give you his assessment. We ended up with, what, three pair of shoes and a couple of handbags. Some yep. goodies, I think. Um, 
But, Nick, what was your opinion? Uh, I thought it was a little overpriced, and there was there were a lot of uh, flaws in the quality. Yeah. So it was something you really had to be careful when going through the product. You felt more so than like our Goodwill trips. It Much more like. so. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But we did find a couple of goodies in there. Um, so I'll show you those later. Off to Fifi's. We're off to Fifi's now. Fifi's number one. We have several to go to over the next two days. This is our first stop at our first Fifi's. See you soon. All right. We are here at Fifi's number one stop of our workation, our Jacksonville hurricane workation, as we're calling it. We are heading in. We're going to see what's on sale see what goodies we can find, and go from there. Fifi's. Oh, cute dress in the window. Oh, this one doesn't look down. I need to take a picture of this. Okay, so we just refueled with some uh, Mexican, and lo and behold, there is a Goodwill right by the Fifi's. Fifi's was not, now you're going to laugh, I'm going to say not all that, <clears throat> but we did buy quite a bit. However, it was not as good as the original Fifi's that we'll go to after we run through this Goodwill. I have promised to make this a quick one. Here we go. Look who's sparkling. I got my sourcing shine going on now. Um, Nick's back there putting gas in the car. We just did Goodwill. It's been a little longer than we thought we would, but right off the bat, I found a St. John. Um, we got some Vineyard Vines, a couple of really awesome Tommy Bahamas. So yeah, we found some goodies. Um, I love it because my husband doubts me on things sometimes. And he'd be like, really? That's dirty. And I say, look it up. And he's like, oh my gosh, that handbag's selling for a hundred and something dollars dirty. I'm like, yep. You never know until you look it up. Um, we found some Adidas youth wrestling shoes that are in mint condition. Come to find out they're going to sell probably for about $40 or so. So we are uh, hydrating, um, gassing up, and we're heading to our favorite Fifi's. Um, which is the one we know well, and we're going to check them out. And if we don't get everything done today, we'll go back there in the morning. And then there's another Fifi's um, out towards the beach that we will head into tomorrow. So I will reach back out to you when we get to Fifi's. Bye, y'all. Totally forgot to film at Fifi's. All right, y'all. Here's our haul. This is today's work. Nick's trying on this jacket. What's this jacket? John Barbados. John Barbados. It's a little small for me. Well, it's new with tags? New with tags. And what was the retail? Size 44, $498. 498 what did we pay for it? 36 36 All right, we hope that's a goodie. So, this stuff, pick up that bag so they see how big the, the Eddie Bauer bag is. We are packed full, y'all. I cannot tell you, we have shopped four different places today, and I'm sorry I didn't get interior shots for y'all like I planned, but... I'll get better at this. It's just I get so excited and I got so much to get. But look at this. <laughs> Five, bags Five bags full of stuff in that bag, plus the eBay bag back here. There's two. The Liz Perfectly bag. There's three. I mean, we're getting ready to go through and organize, and we will stop to show you some of the highlights, but clearly we are not going to go through everything and show it all to you because that would take way too long. See you in a bit. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday morning. It is day two of our sourcing extravaganza, our, as Nick keeps calling it, workation. So Nick is my finance dude. He is the man behind the numbers. So I'm going to have him kind of do a financial breakdown of the damage we did yesterday. All right, y'all. So our first stop was the thrift store. Where we got five items, a couple bags, and three pairs of shoes. We spent four, just over $48, so it was about $9.60 per item. One of the items we got there was these turquoise twisted X boots 
driving moccasins, which are new. I mean, just look at that. New without box. So I just listed those last night for, I want to say like $50, $49 or $59. I'll have to look. I'll put the comps up on the screen and show you what the comps were and what I list them for. What else did we get there, Nick? Was what else we got there? We got a couple pocketbooks. Oh, here. We got these pocketbooks, the Brahmin Croc and this. The Brahmin might bring us, once I authenticate it, it could bring us well over $100. Yeah. Okay, next stop. Next stop was Fifi's in Deerwood, and we got a couple of jewelry items. Uh, we got more shoes, um, and some of the shoes that we found there were <clears throat> these Cole Hahn. Grand Zero, I think they're seven and a half patent leather ballet they flats. Are. I've sold several of these over the last several years. People love the just classic nude ballet flat. So those got listed last night for 39. We also got these. Look at these bands, bands y'all. They these are I mean mint have they even suede, been worn? Men size Barely. 8. I listed those last night and I want to say I listed those. I'll pop it up on the screen. Um might have been 59 or 69 dollars. How much were the cost of those from that? So at Fifi's in Deerwood, we got 42 total items. We got a lot of apparel items. Uh, we spent just over $185, so it was about $4.42 per item. Okay, so $4.42 to turn around and sell these and the 30-something and the 60-something. Not bad, y'all. This huge duffel is filled with clothes from yesterday. All right, what's next, Marianne? Well, next was we stopped and had a little lunch, but... Uh, we didn't realize as we were heading over to Fifi's in Deerwood that just next door to it was a Goodwill. So, of course, <laughs> we had to go into the Goodwill. Um, and we actually had some, some really great finds. We had three pairs of shoes, 15 apparel items. We spent $89, um, so just under $5, 4 dollars each. And I'm actually going to show you all three of the shoes that we found there. All right, well, let's so, see them. One that Molly already listed are these size one and a half kids wrestling sh adidas wrestling shoes and these are in mint condition we call these euc yes so those got listed for 49 um i listed them a little bit high knowing that we'll get offers on them all right now what's this is what you're a pro at this was the thing that i was so excited when i walked in the store and, and found molly at the shoe rack Two pair, an 11, a men's 11, and a men's size 9. These are the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2, and the color is the Visi Pro. So, you know, if you're out there running in the dark, these actually They're gonna can be see seen by people driving along. Um, but these shoes are in excellent condition. I think the 9s may actually be new, unworn. Uh, the 11 has a little bit of wear on them, but barely noticeable. And you can't even see any wear on the inside soles. So what were the comps when you looked that up in the store? So the comps for these were sales had been um, between 95 and 115 All for right. pre-owned. One pair for pre-owned. And these are EUC. Show them what happens to how we know they're not worn. Show them your Sauconies. So here are my Saucony Endorphin Pro, slightly different model, but again, nice and cool color patterns. When you have them worn a lot on the bottom, <laughs> these shoes have about 400 miles on them. So they have definitely gotten a lot of wear on there. A little different there, huh? All right. What else you got for us there, mister? All right. So then we hit our Fifi's San Marcos store. Our which, favorite. Which is the one we've been to many times before. Um, it's the only Fifi's in the area that has men's items. And we ended up getting a total of 64 items at that store. Um, almost half of our entire haul for yesterday. We spent $346, so we were just over $5.41 per item. Okay. Show us a couple of goodies we got there. All right. So one thing we found, Molly found there was a slew of Nuitag Vera Bradley crossbodies. It's their hipster line. 
there are how many did we get? Four, I we think. Got new with tags. Four of them. So I'll probably list that those. Are new with tag. Around thirty nine dollars each. And each of them we got for. Yeah. Our ab so again, our average at that store was five dollars and forty one cents. These individually were a little above that. They were seven fifty each. Yeah, and we'll list them for about thirty nine. I also got. I'm going to whip around here. Um, another batch of new tags, Vera items, the smaller items there. So those were peanuts in the end. All right, and we also got this was my favorite. I found it at the end of checkout. This is called Little Earth. They are custom made recyclable handbags. It is brand new with the um, bot with the strap. It's got a chain that you put in there. It's got all of the information, the sign card by the artist who made it. And I listed this 129, 139. It's got Swarovski crystals on it. Um, this was a pretty cool find. Pretty cool find. So this is already listed in Concha Consignment Store because I was so excited about it. I just had to get it right up there. All right, do we have anything else we wanted to highlight from that stop? I, we got a bunch of clothes, a couple more pairs of shoes, but yeah, we did really well. All right, Nick, thank you for giving us you the bet. breakdown. And oh, show them your coat behind you that you found new with tags. Which Real one? quick, that one. Oh, this you can one? show them a couple if you want, but we showed, we filmed the 400 and something dollar men's coat. Look at this women's, what brand is it? It is Angashen. And Gashin, and you did comps on that, and it was pretty good too. Yeah. New with tags. It'll do well. It'll do well. Winter. We got it for I think four fifty. All right. For that particular item. Molly couldn't resist herself. I just had to, y'all. She had to do this, y'all. <laughs> she got a tur turtleneck because it's getting that to be that time of year. Because so. he said, "Why are you doing that?" I said, "Tis the season, honey. Surely somebody will buy it." Oh. Here we go. I'll show you one other thing that we found. And this is because, you know, we're here in Jacksonville, so you can find some of these local type of things. But we've always had some decent success with some college branded apparel. And we know a lot of people that are Florida, Florida Staters. State. Yes. So. Seminoles. So anyway, we got a ton of stuff, clearly a ton of stuff. There's shoes over here. I don't want to show There's shoes on the floor, shoes over here. Um, yeah, it's in some jewelry too. So we are getting ready to head on out and we've got some plans for a couple of more Fifi locations. After yesterday's location at the last one, our favorite Fifi's, we were told by the employees there that the one we're going to start out with today is actually the biggest and best for the clearance 75% um, off items. So, of course, you know that gets my adrenaline going, gets me rolling, because I love a good clearance sale. So, so let's go. Let's get our shoes on and go. <laughs> All right. We'll check in later. Bye, y'all. Here we are on the road, headed towards the beach. Atlantic Beach, Nick thinks, to the first um, Fifi's, and then we're heading to the location in Antra Pedra, Florida. Stay tuned. Just thought I'd show you. Still a little overcast, but I think the sun's supposed to come out at some point today. Bye, y'all. All right, y'all. This is our final stop, our final fee-fees of the vacation. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, boy. All right, let's see what our tag colors are. Pink is the tag. Pink is the tag. Oh. Oh. Stop it. So I did comps on these since they were in WT thinking even though it's a higher price at 50% off, it might be worth it. However, it was not. Um, they were well overpriced for those of us who are looking to resell. Gonna have to hang up here because I do a little research. Be back. Oh, okay. Oh, two.
is open. Two is open. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> oh, I guess so. Yes. Oh, so Nick found the uh, Claire Trim here, which is where I'm headed to join him. He's already busy getting jiggy with it. All right, I'm going to hang up now. You can see I've got a lot of shoes to look through. Bye, y'all. All right. Two bags. Two bags here. Quickest in and out of a Fifi's in history of shopping Fifi's. This one, um, while it had definitely the most luxury items in stock, they also were the highest priced with the fewest clearance items. And uh, thank you. Yeah, so found a few things. Um, I mean, hello, y'all. We got a car full. Show them. I mean, this is day two, and yet it's another car full. All right, so there was a Goodwill down the street. We're just gonna pop in before. I've been told. Yeah. Have time. I've been told that. When sports starts, at what time, Nick? Oh, any time. <laughs> can you hold this? You give me a time. I got a buckle while I talk. Can you hold that? Don't take your hand from in front of it. People don't want to see your palm. Okay, y'all. After a hilarious gallivant around Ponte Vedra, Vedra and surrounding areas, come to find out that they have closed down their goodwills. Um, one being remodeled, some fully closed down. But we did find this other thrift store that you see me going through now called Hope's Closet. And it was pretty big, had some new things, plus a lot of thrift. So we went through, found some goodies, um, and this was our final stop of the day. So just enjoy what's left here. Some of these old blankets. I don't really do those. So I keep walking away. Yes. Well, maybe not. Maybe since I broke it, we don't want it. Can you peek at that? Let's see, as I walk around, do you guys see anything you think I made a mistake? Like maybe I made a mistake walking away from those blankets. Just put in the comments what you think. And what you know about them. Because that's not really been my jam. It's a double boiler. Hmm. I really don't like to get into electronics because I know the return rate on those is pretty big. But there's some weed in. What I'm looking for is Nike. I think it was um, Josh, Harry Tornado, that said Nike Golf Clubs. Or goodies. But I don't see any Nike here. There's no 
nope, nope, nope. Alright, got lots of bags, boarding equipment, skis. Look at their skis. $50. Excuse me, can I squeeze by your cart here? I'm I'm free. Oh, are you going ahead? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hey y'all. I am a sucker for wooden boxes. Sucker. Well, it's a music box, but it doesn't have his player anymore. Let's see if it plays at all. Nope. Not at all. for looking. check this other side. Nick is dying to go so we can go watch Penn State. So I need to hustle up and get us in line. Let me just look at this. Nope. Okay, I love these dishes so much. I have nothing to do with them. They don't match my stuff, but gosh do I love them. All right, I want to come down here by Nick as I peek. Peek, 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 peek. Let's see what this is. No. Nick just found something that he popped in. This little goodie. Where did it go? Oh, look at this pot right here, y'all. It's not signed, but I'm sure it was a party. So, this right here is magical. Magical? Look at that. Y'all, I gotta hang up and Google Lens this baby. Bye, y'all. Okay, here is today's damage. Sorry, we didn't make our bed this morning because we just wanted to get out the door. But we filled the LP and the eBay bag again with extras and more bags back here. We are going to pull them out, separate, organize, get them ready for packing. We'll pull some special pieces to show you like we did this morning and give you the, the monetary breakdown. Great. Bye.
Good morning, friends. We are here. It is Sunday morning. We are getting all packed up, ready to roll, heading back to North Carolina. This vacation has come to an end. But before we go, we want to share what happened yesterday. I've got my accountant, money man, numbers guy extraordinaire, the hubby Nicholas. Nick? Hey, y'all. Share our numbers from yesterday first. Sure. So <clears throat> yesterday we made three stops, two Fifi's and one Hope's, at Hope's Closet, which was a thrift store here in Jacksonville area. And of the three stops, we got 102 items, spent just over $540, so it was about $5.31 per item yesterday. Okay. So some of the things that we wanted to show you that we did pick up when we were at Fifi's on Atlantic Boulevard, that was our first stop. We, we liked it there, right? That was good. We did. We yes. liked that one. That they was had a good. great clearance, a back room that was their clearance only room. Uh, it was easy to go through all the clearance items and find those great deals for you guys. I did find a couple on the floor, so if you do head there, don't think that the rooms have it all, even though they think they do, because I did find a couple of goodies on the floor as we were checking out. So just a little heads up. All right, show us the one. These are the Rachel Comey boots These we got are there. Rachel Comey boots. Look at those, y'all. Those will probably get listed about, I mean, they are in excellent condition, probably about 89. I got to do a little more research, but at minimum 89 on the Rachel Comeys. <clears throat> we also picked up a pair of coach These are flats. Coach. Henri floral studded flats. They're probably going to go about 49 59 up when I did a little research quickly. Yep. Was that all from there or do we have other goodies from that uh, one? We found some... Oh, those shorts I think are from there, aren't they? We did. We found the shorts. We actually found a few of these items. We got okay. this. Look at this dress. And who was this? This was this Vineyard is, Vines? Uh, Vineyard or Vines. Vineyard Vines. Yeah. It's their painted dot sheath very pretty. dress. We always do well with vineyard vines. We also found a Lafayette 148. Look at that jacket. jacket. That's a goodie. And there we also found a pair of Lily Pulitzer size 10. Size 10, that's nice. Shorts. We usually find Lily in all small, small sizes. So it's nice to get a, a double digit size in there in yeah. the Lily. So All then, right. then we went to the Fifi's in Ponte Vedra, and they didn't have quite as large a selection. Mm -hmm. um, so we've just got one item to show you here. We did get a few items kind of uh, athletic wear-wise, uh, lots of tennis items, and the one that we did find there was a new with tag Nike women's tennis dress. How about you model that for us, babe? Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look great on him? Those hips don't lie. Oh, I know. <laughs> so then our last stop was to Hope's Closet. And Hope's Closet uh, did not have a whole lot of clothes items that we came away with, but we did come away with some bowls, some vases, a little art, some accessories, and some hats. But we're going to show you one of the vases that we found. Y'all, I'm in love with this. I think it's so beautiful. Look at the palm trees. And it is and a it is sign. It is signed on the bottom. Signed piece. What do we pay for that? Four dollars. Four dollars. So yeah, I mean it is in excellent condition. No chips, no cracks. So I've got to do a little research on that. I'll take any comments for anybody who's good on these kind of signed pieces to give me some some deets on it. So I'm excited. Yeah. So all in all, a really great trip. Yeah. All right. So we and are headed we go back. Home and Oh, and thank goodness we were running out of bags. We had our I'd flip that bag from Joe and Nicole. So that is going to help house some of these goodies to put back in our car. Thanks, guys, for the awesome bag. It was very much needed on this trip. All right, we're signing off. This there has been a great haul. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for joining Libby and Molly, the ladies of Consignment Chats, as we build a resourceful community of collaborative resellers. Find all the ways to connect with us at consignmentchats.com. Episodes are available on YouTube and anywhere you get your podcasts. In addition, you can find us on Facebook in our Consignment Chats community. Until next time.